Danny with his second pointed free. And now Donegal have a four point lead. The problem for Kildare here, Jerry, is that, is that uh, the, the Martin Lynch is coming way out the field. And when they come to the halfway line, they have no target man inside. He'll have to stay inside. Time is run, time is run late to be available for the lads outside. That is not happening. Diver once again. It's rather shapeless and ableist. Call. Which is uh, John Doyle once again, and he's fouled by Adrian Sweeney. One player I think Donny Gold will be looking to this evening is Paul McGonagall, their number nine, big tall fellow in midfield. They rate him their find of the season. Michael Hagerty. Tony Boyle. He's looking so fresh. Inside towards Deveni, taking on Lacey. Brendan Deveni, goal chance, he's got They are tearing the Kildare backs to shreds. We're 13 minutes into the match. This was Brendan Deveni, Lacey came after him, rolled in in front of goal, goalkeeper came out, no real serious hitting, and Deveni almost walked it in. Yeah, it was a classy goal, but dreadful defending, sure. You never, ever, ever let a, a, a forward inside you along the end line. It's a cardinal sin for a cornerback. What do Kildare need to have their wake-up call? They're seven points down. Here's Eamon Doherty, Martin Call. Unfortunately, it's the same evidence as we've seen from all the rest of the teams that were knocked out that have to play six days later. It's psychologically, they just cannot pick it up. It's very, very difficult. Well, they can't pick it up, but Tony, the fans have. There are about 13,000 people here. They haven't given up on it. I suppose, Jerry, it's a, it's a new thing in GA, and these guys went out last Sunday to beat Mead and to just reassess themselves and psychologically build yourself up. The people are just not used to it yet, I presume. Well, Donegal so far have converted five of 11 chances. Kildare, none from just one chance created so far. There's Tony Boyle again. Wrong siding, Ken Doyle. Classy performer. Lovely, steady in his short kick. And Tony Boyle has kicked the second point. The local fans here are probably saying to themselves, when is this game going to start? John Gilday touching it down to Paul McGonagall. Noel Hegarty deciding to go on a little solo run. One of the links with the team that won the only All-Ireland for Danny Gold back in 1992. The other link, of course, being Tony Boyle. And even after... Hagerty went off and did his little solo run that time and kicked the ball ahead. He was back very quickly, realising his defensive duties, which is to mark Dermot early this evening. Martin Ryan. High up into the air. Diver touches it down. McLaughlin has it and there's a chance here and it's over the bar. And finally, they depend upon the man who's now playing on the wing, who is Eddie McCormack. 1-5 to a point, Eddie McCormack, the point scorer. That was a good score, they needed something like that. Like, it, it's a simple game really, and if they only let the ball in, by accident they might get a break, and surely they know where the goal post in Newbridge are, they've been here long enough. Tony Blake, Danny Gold goalkeeper. It's a huge kick out, backed by Rainbow, only as far as Hagerty. That's good work by Michael Hagerty. Taking on Martin Ryan. Ooh, good work by the centre half back that time, Martin Ryan. And in the end, it becomes a Kildare free kick. Kenny Duan. Eddie McCormack. Here's Niall Buckley. Now that Donny Gall have got their first score, can they tag on a few more? It's an awful pass. Martin Cole, the centre half back, releasing it as far as Noel Hegarty. 
Nicely inside here for John Gilday. He has support outside him. Andrew Gallagher, bit of a pace merchant. Not exactly the most accurate of kickers. It was a really good chance. There's Willie McCreary. Will have had an interest down at the Curra, of course, as well, because of his racing connections. But right now, his main concentration is on this particular qualifying match. And to somebody like him now, they could really look to, because they need to establish some foothold there in midfield. He'd also kick a few butts, I have to say. He was out there on his own team and say, wake up. That's how far back McCormack is. Taken nicely there by Mark Russell. Mark playing at left corner back this evening. Donegal very much in control. Michael Hagerty. This is Noel Hagerty. Noel from the Nerve Columba Club. Inside once again towards Brian McLaughlin. Been allowed an awful lot of possession this evening by that inexperienced fullback. Deveni has come right this time. Boyle moving to the right, creating a gap inside. Jersey is tugged and filled, but it's still Deveni. Shot at the goalkeeper this time. He should have had a free. Most definitely should have had a free. The referee, I don't know whether he allowed an advantage or not, but uh, nothing came of it. This is Ronan Sweeney. Played at wing forward for much of last Sunday's game. Oh, that's an awful pass again. Kildare are in a complete mix. Michael Hagerty. A controlled performance by and large by the Ulster team. They've missed chances, mind you. Here comes Ken Doyle. Getting it back from Dermot Early. Nearly 19 minutes got in the first half. Martin Lynch towards Porrick Brennan. Trying to do a solo. Still has possession. Waiting for support to come. Comes from Ronan Sweeney. But he's dispossessed here by Hagerty. Noel Hagerty, the great warrior. Paul McGonigal. Sending it free down along inside there to Andrew Gallagher. He's missed a chance a little while ago. Needs to be more composed this time. He is. And he's got a second point. It's a very good display by Donny Gall. They have the appetite, they have the lead, and the lead by 1-6 to a point. They're using possession with very well. I know they missed a few shots at the start of the game, but there is quite a strong win into that goal, or against them when they shoot into that goal. But again, Kildare gave the ball away, and it must be heartbreaking for the backs down there to work the ball up, for somebody to lose the ball and come back and score against them. Bird's kick. Beautifully fetched there by Paul McGonigal. Then he gives it away cheaply. Duan, as far as Buckley. It's a big one. Taken in here well by Tony Blake. And a good release by Blake out as far as Damien Diver is captain. No Hagerty. It reaches John Gilday. This is a good burst forward. Now where is the support play? And the final pass, leaving Danny Gold down, and in particular Mark Crossell. Martin Lynch. John Doyle is just ahead of him. Bit of a race on here to beat Mark Crossell. This is one they need, it's stopped by Blake. Good point, blank shot, great save. And the ball is handled on the ground, I think. And Niall Barrett has signaled his intentions to reward a free. This is that uh, stop just a little while ago here by Tony Blake from St. Eunan's. And the ball was subsequently touched on the ground as they were getting the ball away. Yeah, terrific save. Good movement by Kildare. They got the space inside and they moved it quickly and moved it well. It was a very, very good save. But Kildare will have to do something around midfield. They have four or five natural midfielders, but they're not being aggressive enough around the midfield. There's no way that the uh, Donegal guy should win a clean ball in there. 
Well, that's where the ball was touched. Came out as far as Eamon Doherty. Well, it's going to be a free in, so a chance for Kildare to get another score. And uh, Patrick Brennan taps it over. It keeps them in touch, but just about. 1-6 to 2 points. We know from sport and from championship football and hurling you can go into a big lead and it can be clawed back. The time to have that big lead, I suppose, is in the last five minutes. Niall Buckley, that's a magnificent catch. That can lift his team and be a real rallying force, this man. Kenny Duan. They're trying to target Ty Finnan. Trying to slip inside Paddy Campbell's cover. Beautifully back into John Doyle. Taken down by Martin Carl. Carl reached in. Doyle went down. And the number is noted. I think John Doyle knew what he was doing that time. Yes, I think, I think he engineered that, which was well worked. Uh, good catch by Noel Buckley in midfield to create this chance. Kildare are a type of team that actually could play very well against the wind as well, so the wind mightn't be that much of a factor for them. Especially their style of play. John Doyle. Curls nicely. That's over. So it's another point for Kildare. The recovery is on course, but two of the three points they've scored have come from freeze. Now you can hear the fans getting behind their team. There's still about 11 and a half minutes or thereabouts to go to half time. But so far it's been very much Donegal. And they have it one more time. Noel Hagerty inside to Tony Boyle, giving the slip to the corner man, Ken Doyle. Having to go back and take it once more. Knocked in towards Michael Hagerty this time. And they restart again. John Gilday. Oh, I thought he might try to play it around a little bit rather than hit it from that particular angle. But he went for the shot. And it's all a bit frustrating, isn't it? Yeah, we know, we know. You let him know what you think. Touched on there by Buckley. Comes to Dermot early. Kildare needing a lift from the big stars in their team. Included among them, Martin Lynch here. And he has taken down. Eamon Doherty is extremely frustrated by the referee's decision. And Doherty did such a good job. Remember it, uh, that game we showed you in Enniskillen when he kept uh, Stephen Maguire of Fermanagh scoreless. So John Doyle stepping up once again to further eat into the Donegal lead. Perfect positioning, perfect shot. It's a good recovery by Kildare. Donegal giving away the freeze, Kildare taking the chances. And they all counter. Uh, good play there again by Niall Buckley and Dermot Early. He needs Early now to come into the game more. He was quite last Sunday, quite up to now, but he needs him now to take the game by the scruff of the neck. Quite a few steps taken by Lynch that time. There's McGonagall rising up for that one, but it comes back once again to Dermot Early. He's back foraging. Rainbow being shown where to kick it. Out as far as John Doan taking on the centre half back who is Martin Carl, and the referee says once again. Paul reached out and uh, brought him down. Now, Collis already had his number noted, so logically the next step for Niall Buckley is a booking. It's another card. That's a second yellow card in this match, 1-13. Niall Buckley kicking this. It's going left. And the last man to 
touch in I think was Dermot Early but a huge kick that time by Niall Buckley which I think gave an indication of the strength of the breeze and the way in which it is blown.